is part 75 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss require HTTPS attribute in MVC. Require HTTPS attribute forces an unsecured HTTP request to be resent over HTTPS protocol. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a blank ASP.NET MVC4 application. Let's add a controller and let's name it Home Controller. And let's change the return type of this index action method to return a string instead of an action result. And we want to return this string which states this method should be accessed only using HTTPS protocol. Let's build our solution. Let's fire up a browser. And then let's use HTTP request to invoke the index action within the home controller. Look at that, we are able to invoke the index action using the HTTP protocol. And if you have Fiddler installed on your machine, fire up Fiddler, delete any traces that you have already captured. Now let's reissue the request. Let's go back to Fiddler, look at that. You know, we have made a request to the index action within the home controller. And look at the HTTP status code, 200, which means the result is OK. And look at the request data. This method should be accessed only using HTTPS protocol. That is what is the message this index action is returning. And we see that unencrypted. OK, so it's present in plain text format. So when you use HTTP protocol, the data is sent over the wire in a plain text format. Now let's say our requirement is such that we want users to be requesting this index action only by using HTTPS protocol. So how do we force that to happen? All we need to do is decorate this action method with require HTTPS attribute. Let's build our solution. Now let's reissue you know, again, an HTTP request to the index action within the home controller. Look at that, where we are issuing an HTTP request. And let's see what's going to happen. Look at that, we are automatically redirected to use HTTPS protocol. And if you look at Fiddler, look at that, we made a request to the index action within the home controller. And look at the HTTP status code. 302. So a redirection is done automatically for us. And look at this h2 tag over here, object move to. So the request is automatically redirected to HTTPS. Okay, so using require HTTPS attribute forces an unsecured HTTP request to be resent over to HTTPS protocol. And we have seen that practically. And another thing to notice, Look at that, that's the request. And then, you know, we are redirected to HTTPS. And look at that, HTTPS decryption is disabled. So if you look at the data here, it's not present in plain text. So obviously, any data that is transmitted over HTTPS protocol is encrypted. And if you look at the output here, you know, we have an error. If you look at this message, SSL error. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. That's because I don't have a valid SSL certificate installed on my machine. That's the reason why we see the screen. Otherwise, we should have been on this page without any errors like this. OK? So this require HTTPS attribute can be applied at a controller level as well. So when we apply it at the controller level, then that attribute is applicable for all action methods within that controller. And keep in mind, sensitive data such as login credentials, credit card information, etc., must always be transmitted using HTTPS protocol. That's because information transmitted over HTTPS is encrypted. And if you're new to this SSL concepts, that is secure socket layer concepts, we discussed about them in detail in parts 101 to 103 in ASP.NET video tutorial. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.